happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Burt. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Samir SM818. This is an AM-FM shortwave portable radio with MP3 player. You can find this selling on Amazon for $16.99 retail, though the single is on sale quite often, and the price has been seen as low as $9. That's a great bargain for this little radio. If you see it for nine bucks, snap it up. It is awesome. Um, it has a couple nuances, but for what you get for nine bucks, it's totally worth it. So this one came donated to the channel by Cade S. You rock, sir. Thank you very much. We're going to take everything out of here and show you what you get. So Cade okay, got this from Amazon too, it looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty basic box. All right, show it comes in there. So we get the 818. Now, I do want to give an honorable mention to Chuck E. He's a patron on Patreon, and he's been there for a long time. You've seen his name in the credits, Roll, all the time. And Chuck donated this a while back, uh, kind of a sister radio to the SM818, as you can see. A little different. Uh, this looks like it has a 10K stepping, 1710. Uh, shortwave looks a little similar, yep, and FM's the same. So we got a clearer dial on this one, which I like, actually, uh, but... They're the same radio. They receive the same and everything. So, except for the AM band, it's a little different there. But I just wanted to show you guys that. Thank you, Chuck. You rock as well. So yeah, I had a lot of fun experimenting with this one. We'll talk about that experimentation. Um, so let's go ahead and focus on the 818 and what you got in the box. So radio, awesome. Love the size. It's perfect size. Um, you also get a uh, removable belt clip. Do, 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 do. It's wimpy, and I don't know if I'd ever use it. So. We get a charging cable. It is USB to mini. Yes, backwards in time instead of forward in time. No type C, no micro, but mini. Yeah, I know. I don't know if this is a new radio or if this radio is five years old. I have no idea. Um, so we have some headphones that are really cheap. I did not use these for the headphone experience. I use the CC Buds. Works out pretty good. Here we get a little pamphlet of instructions. Let's go ahead and just open this up. Look through it really quick for posterity. So you just freeze frame, oh, right to the specs, nice. You see the cool thing there on top? This product is a machine, it's a machine, dude, <laughs> that uses one pieces, <laughs> I love that, 3.7 volt, 18650 lithium battery, that's, see, that's the big deal right there. There's a lot more to it, but there you go, some more specs, rock on. There's the illustration of the radio, kind of weird how they did that, got all turned and stuff. Okay, so... Got some functions. I think this thing jumps around a little bit here. Okay, there you go. Flipping it to the other side. All right, there you are. It's pretty simple to operate, which I'm gonna go over. Very basic, it's a DSP radio. It has an analog dial, DSP. Just assume every small radio you buy nowadays is gonna have a digital signal processor in it. You're not gonna have a true analog unless you're buying it used off eBay. So I'll get rid of this stuff here. All right, set that aside. All right, so the SM818, let's go over dimensions. It's width is two and three quarter inches. Its height, including this spot where the antenna comes up, doesn't go all the way into the radio, is four and three eighths of an inch. And then we have a depth of one and one eighth of an inch. So again, really compact and it's powered by 18650, loving it. So let's go ahead and compare it to CC Pocket. It's getting late. 51 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. For the sake of the band scan, depends on what I do. FM. If I can find anything on shortwave, I might. Um, and then we'll do a little bit on AM. Um, there's not much there. I'll talk about that. But uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, there you go for size. The cool thing is this little Samir is shorter than the pocket. Look at it. A little wider. You know, there you go by a little bit, but definitely pocket sized and, you know, high power. So loving that part of it. And it's inexpensive there too. Uh, CC Skywave in the house. There you go. It's an AM, FM, weather alert, air, and shortwave. Does it all. Okay, for a little bit more money, of course. And if you don't have that deck of cards, standard playing size, it's Iron Man. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Samir cheap Chinese radios. 
all day long, man. Yeah. And donate it, too. <laughs> it's awesome. But you get the idea for deck of cards, right? Rock on. All right, cool. So let's talk about the 818 and its features. So right away, it's got that gunmetal gray color, and the fit and finish is really nice. As you can see there. Loving that. And it does stand. My table is a little slanted, but it will stand on its own. Bonus. Loving that too as well. Um, so yeah, nothing on the left-hand side here. Front's where it's all at. FM, you can see it's 87 to 108. Our AM bass is 520 to 1710, so it looks like it's 10 kilohertz spaced. Shortwave, 7.8 to 16.2. Yeah, definitely a daytime uh, frequency uh, setup. And I wish it was lower here, maybe to, down to at least 5 or 4 or 3. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, I could be you know, wishful thinker. Our band select and MP3 function. So right now it's on MP3. You can move it to FM. You can see how it lines up with the little block. You got AM and you got shortwave. So it's pretty tight little band selector. So that's nice. A little quality there. Now the speaker's cool. It's a one and a half inch speaker, but it's a big boy. It's really thick. And because I took apart uh, Chuck's radio because I was messing around with it, <laughs> trying to improve it, which I did. Uh, we'll talk about that. But yeah, one and a half inch speaker, and uh, it's but it's really bassy sounding. It sounds good. Hopefully, you'll get to hear that in the uh, uh, demo I do in a little bit here on audio. Little tag there, SM818. A little different than the one Chuck gave me. This has got a nice little raised little deal there. That's nice. But again, same radio. So on the right hand side, we do have that mini USB input to charge the 18650. Volume on off control tuning. Tuning's you know a little fiddly. Of course, it's a DSP radio, they always a little trickier to tune. For top of the radio, we have our FM shortwave antenna, which extends out to a whopping holy cow fits on the frame six and a quarter inches. <laughs> uh, we'll pull that back out because we'll be doing some band scans. Uh, headphone experience. This is pretty cool. Um, no hiss at all, which is fantastic. Wow, I couldn't believe it. None. I think it's digital digital control volume, so. Definitely a way to go on there. Um, so going through the bands, the uh, MP3 and FM. So you can expect moderate lows, uh, strong mids, and strong highs with you know average headphones. I was using CC Buds. Um, on the MP3 player, just want to note, it's in stereo. It sounds really good. So if you're playing back on your MP3 player, uh, music tracks, they sound fantastic because they're in stereo and just beautiful. Love them. It's fantastic. Um, also on AM and shortwave, expect a bright... Uh, neutral tone. Um, I know it gets a little bright, but it's neutral, which is nice. It's not terrible, so it's easy to listen to. Uh, so here you can see we have a USB thumb drive. So if you have uh, files on a USB stick, if you still use old school, uh, you can use that. Most people don't anymore, I don't think. Uh, or you can opt for the micro SD card. Uh, I have a 16 gig in there. They said 4 to 32 gigabytes. That's nice. Um, that's, that's pretty flush. So you can see it doesn't stick out there. I like that. I like when they don't stick out of the radio, and you'll snap them off. So um, I'm liking this. Now, when you use the MP3 function, um, little LEDs flashes, the cool thing is it remembers your track you're on and the track position. So that's important, especially on a long track like a podcast or old-time radio show. It's like a half hour long or an hour long. You'll remember it um, halfway or three-quarter way. They say, though, if you take the battery out or battery runs completely dead, it might forget the track position, but it'll remember the track you're on. That's what it says in their directions anyway. I took the battery out. I waited about a minute, put it back in. It still remembered both. So something to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, LED flashes. Um, green when you're MP3 mode. I think blue when the radio is on. And uh, I believe uh, blue when you're charging it. Or, or red. It changes different colors. It's pretty cool. So the back is where the bell clip goes. And of course, you can see here more information. And we have our 18650. So this is awesome. I upgraded mine. Yeah, I did. <laughs> If I get it open now, like I said, everything fits really tight on this radio. There we go. Hey, look at that battery. I've recommended these. XH Data, 3,000 milliamp hours. Unprotected 1860 button top. You got to use it. You can't use a... Well, you could probably use a flat top. You'd have to bend that positive terminal out a little bit. And then you could throw a flat top in there, like a high-quality Molly cell or something. That would fit in there. You just have to make sure that that would make the connection. But uh, otherwise, just pick these up. These are like five bucks. I think two for ten, free shipping. So can't beat it. It replaces this little cheapy uh, 1200 milliamp hour that comes with the radio. You can keep it on hand for a cheap flashlight or something. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm not going to say that. 
you know what it says. All right. So, but yeah, I upgraded. It's nice. I love it. And you get tons of runtime. So definitely worthy of an upgrade. So we'll snap that back. See it nice and tight there. Doesn't want to come out. That's perfect. All right. So let's talk about FM reception. And we're going to turn it on and have some fun. So you get to hear quite a bit with this radio. So FM reception report. Um, it did pretty well. I do fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Just to give you an idea. Um, I go same position, uh, same spot in the house when I test these radios. I check for e-skipping and tropospheric ducting to make sure the FM uh, is not being up affected by those conditions, so we get a true FM uh, test. So I found 58 stations near 60, giving it a good rating and sensitivity. Not bad for a tiny little antenna. Got to remember that. Selectivity is okay to good because a DSP radio with FM tends to lock on stronger stations, so it kind of wipes out any kind of uh, fainter stations that might be bordering that strong station. You'll get to hear that when I tune it. So... There is the FM reception report. It's about a two and three quarter star, which is a little bit above average. Uh, average is two and a half stars, which is okay to good um, to give you a general idea for radios. So awesome there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a demo uh, audio. I'm going to use the MP3 player. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Get an idea what it sounds like. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. <laughs> pretty good. It gets really quiet. Not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some old-time radio. The Harold Perry Show. <laughs> Fast forward. Feels pretty quick. Cousin Raymond loafing around the house anymore. Let's see, it's 9 a.m. I'll bet that boy's got a job by now. Well, I don't think so, Harold. Why not? He's still in bed. Oh? <laughs> Mother, I heard his alarm go off. Yes, but I don't think he did. Oh. So we can pause it. Uh, you can put it on the radio. You can turn it off. So 
And then we can go back to say MP3. We'll turn it back on. I should remember exactly where we left off. That's the last straw. I'll go wake him up. Now be gentle with him, Harold. Yeah, I'll be gentle. So pretty cool. Awesome. So it did not reset to the beginning of the track or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and hook up a wire and we're going to do some uh, scanning. So we'll go to the FM band. Okay. And we're going to go to the bottom here. You can see the little orange indicator there where we're at. Um, dial accuracy, don't expect a whole lot there. It's an inexpensive radio. Again, remember, like I said, $16.99, you're overpaying. If you can pick it up for, uh, you know, 10 bucks, it's definitely a grab at 10 bucks. So I can get this on here. Okay, so that's going to give us a little reception in my subfloor basement. Uh, this is like a 15-foot wire. goes to my window blinds inside, not outside. Uh, but it does help. It gives me some elevation uh, above the ground. So let's go ahead and see if it can help my FM reception downstairs here. All right, so we'll turn this back on. And here we're here in the FM. Now, I can't hover on the music, so I'll go fairly quick if I'm on music. Okay, I feel like this should go down a tune, but okay, we're going up. The doors open at 6, the program starts at 6.30, and it ends at 8.30. And they have invited me to speak, and I am going to be there. I certainly am. I'm going to be there uh, on, on January the 25th at 6 p.m. President Gustavo Petro has been indicted on charges of money laundering. He's the master for a drug lord that allegedly went to the president's election campaign. Mr. Petro... <laughs> A little distortion if you're next to stronger stations. I noticed. Stalking and other charges against eBay Company. Company complies with certain conditions. This is NPR News. Support for NPR. Oh. I read an interesting uh, book here recently. In fact, there's a series of four books on all four of the Gospels. Uh, Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins, remember those guys? They wrote the Left Behind series. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet 
a light to my path. Psalm Czyli po tej informacji ceny peletonu poszły do góry. Okay, you get the idea. Um, yeah, you get a little bit of distortion there if you're not quite on center. and It takes a little bit of fiddling back and forth. I didn't want it to do that with music playing. So um, it definitely sounds good on FM. It's, it might be overloading a little bit with this wire. Who knows? But uh, otherwise, it's, it's surprising how sensitive it is without the wire. So, okay, let's go ahead and go to shortwave, which the wire will help a lot. Let's go to the bottom of the band where anything's going to be at this time of night. Uh, hopefully you find something. On shortwave. Again, I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. The time is 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. I don't think I'm going to pick up anything, but we'll go through it to 10. There are many countries who have taken actions to promote peace and foster amity among peoples and governments. The following is one of them. We found some. That's cool, something else there, music. That might be a transmission. I think that'll be it for sure. We have three or four stations, but it's not bad. At least we got something in the middle of the morning. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to the AM band. Now, the AM band has a problem. The AM band gets a uh, little bit of, uh, well, quite a bit of RFI from the internal circuitry. Um, I noticed it can be a problem, so it's not very clear. Now, what I did is I took apart Chuck's radio, because I noticed that with his, um, and uh, I noticed that they tried to shield the AM antenna with uh, some copper shielding, but it really wasn't doing the trick. Tried grounding it, didn't make a difference. Uh, so what made a difference was taking the um, let me some stuff here, uh, taking the radio apart and actually desoldering the uh, ferrite that was in there and adding my own ferrite, which I had on other radio, this thing, <laughs> it worked great. I had, had attached it to this radio and had this external, and it was working awesome. So if you feel like having fun, you got parts, um, yeah, why don't you take another loop stick out of another radio, go external with it. Maybe you can mount it somehow just above and away from the radio. You don't want to get too close because I noticed that within a couple inches you got the RFI. But if you got about four or five inches away, uh, with this from the radio, uh, the RFI went away and you could tune everything in. So it was amazing. I was getting all kinds of DX stations. Um, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, it's for fun. Experimental. <laughs> so that's why if you look here, you can see I was inside of it. <laughs> so there we are. All right. So let's go to the AM band on this radio and just see what we can pick up tonight. And then we'll do some final thoughts. Okay, I don't know if this is 560. I'm just going to check real quick. And you and I both know it. She's not up to this. This being running for president, I guess. So you can hear a lot of hiss on there. That's from the internal circuit. So it's good on strong stations only uh, during the day and evening, pretty much. 
unless you externally wire that antenna. And I think I ran it through like, I don't know, I think I ran it through like where the bell clip is. Yes, we ran the, the wires out because they entered the case. As you can see there, that's why I ran the, the wires out. It's neat. Let's keep going. I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, again, some of these problems, the solutions are so simple, but any attempt by the powers that be in the NCAA to institute these uh, solutions is seen as being exploited. Uh, so this is 670 to score. Uh, WSCR Chicago, as you can tell, that hiss is from the radio because if I go here uh, with the Skywave. Solutions that we have. Maybe we don't take a month off from our regular. No hiss at all. So it's the radio. Start. What other sport would do that? We end the season at Thanksgiving. We'll play our playoff games and our championship games bad. for a full month until New Year's. That's a broken sport to me, and it seems like the solution is somewhere. So the idea that you're not burning fossil fuels, you know, assuming you even think that's a bad thing. 720 WGN Chicago. Ninety percent of the American energy is is produced using fossil fuels. So the electricity for your Tesla is still you're burning coal or natural gas somewhere and then inefficiently being pumped. Well, don't despair. Classic drapery can give you a whole new outlook on life. All you need to do is pick up the phone and dial 773 Classic for your free in-home message. 780 WBBM, Chicago. We'll bring out beautiful drapery fabrics and exciting design ideas to best match your decor. You do know it's... Yeah, but once you do that mounting trick where you take that, and you have to have soldering experience too, you gotta use a soldering iron, um, it wakes the radio right up. Maybe in the future I'll mod this radio and I'll do some band scans with the modded radio. If you guys are into it, let me know in the comments below. Score, and they pulled the plug on those guys early tonight, and still a lot of questions here in LA as the Lakers drop under 500. Okay. Okay. Our local station, 1000 WMVP Chicago. So you get the idea. Let's go up the van. Fifteen thirty, WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, three hundred miles. Fifteen thirty, right on the money. Okay, as you can see, that was fun. <laughs> but let's go ahead and turn it off and do final thoughts on the Samir SM818. So yeah, thanks again to Cade for donating this awesome radio, and thanks again to Chuck for donating this one originally. Um, I just got around to reviewing them, you know? It was a lot of fun, and like I said, experimenting with the AM band. It works. It's freaking amazing. Um, yeah, I didn't test the inductance, but I'm sure it's uh, 280 or something. Um, it's, but yeah, it's a standard wind and it, it did really well from the bottom all the way to the top of the band and it made it sound great and then you can loop use your passive loop with this you just put this in front of the passive loop and tune it it's amazing it's it's like an it's like a twin coil you know you can turn it this way you don't have to turn the radio anymore you just turn the ferrite <laughs> it's a it's great um if it's loose but then it's not really can't really carry it then unless you have a way of mounting it like those dudes like glue a fiberglass i don't know level they modify, then they have loop stick tied to it. I've seen that before. You guys probably have seen that. You die hard and medium wave guys. So, but there it is, the SM818. Um, for the money, for 10 bucks and under on an 18650 powered setup, yeah, it's totally worth it. I love it. I love the fact that I can upgrade the battery to a higher capacity. It's replaceable. Um, I like the MP3 player function. I like the stereo playback on the MP3 function. I like the fact that it remembers the position on the MP3 function. I mean, the MP3 player on this thing is great. Uh, for a basic one, it, it totally rocks. 
uh, FM is actually good. What you heard with the distortion again was just because strong stations next to other strong stations and they were just kind of interfering. Probably because of the wire. If I took the wire off, it'd probably be more clear. But uh, just keep that in mind. FM is actually really good sounding. Um, shortwave is great uh, if you got the, you know stations you want to listen to in between that uh, spectrum there. Um, as you heard, amazing. Uh, and AM can be great if it didn't have the RFI problem. That's eh, it's an issue. Um, if you don't, I just I think for experimenting and having fun, and if you have some soldering skills and you have some extra parts laying around, you could have a lot of fun. You could probably actually take the little mini ferrite out of here. I think it's like as big as this top here. Um, yeah, it's a couple inches long, little guy. You could probably remote mount that as well and do the same thing and you know, it'll get better reception. So just letting you know it is doable if you feel like having fun and experimenting. I love to experiment, as you guys know. Um, so overall, a lot of fun. Wish it was Type C input, of course. Micro mini USB. I don't even know what they were thinking. Uh, I don't get it. I really don't. I don't know what's going on. But uh, overall, for ten bucks and under, get it. Get the thumbs up all day long. At sixteen ninety nine, pass. Do not buy this thing at all. Um, I'd rather you buy maybe this for thirteen ninety nine. The Prunus J one sixty seven. Um, the speaker sounds better on the eight one eight. I will say that this is a little brighter sounding, uh, but this is um, a fun little radio for thirteen ninety nine. So if this is sixteen ninety nine, probably grab this if you don't need an MP three player. Um, this has an MP3 player, so depends on what you need. But uh, I like this Prunus as well. So I thought I'd show it to you. Alrighty, so big thumbs up. Thanks for watching the video. You guys are great. Uh, two, if you like inexpensive radios, you want to see more uh, shortwave ones, hit subscribe to the bell icon, get notified of these. I have quite a few. I like to collect these, you know, under $20 shortwave radios to see what they can do. And uh, there's a few uh, surprises out there, some great ones that uh, do a decent job. Uh, with their little tiny antennas. It's amazing. This one does pretty good, too. Just wish it had more band coverage. That would be amazing. Uh, and, of course, uh, three, comment below. What you think about the SM818. Is it for you? Do you like the idea of the 18650 power? I'm a big fan. Um, do you like the compactness of this? Uh, do you like kind of what I showed you? Um, everything there. The stereo playback. No hiss on the headphones. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'd be interested in your thoughts. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.